Welcome to the Bentec Pro demonstration. This demonstration will go over several features of the Bentec Pro software. Bentec Pro includes four different designers. We'll start out with the assembly designer. This designer allows you to assemble both bent tubes and straight tubes to create an assembly. For example, assembly can be used to create things such as a simple bumper, an entire chassis, a roll cage, or hand railings. One of the key features within the assembly designing process are pick points. These points are used to represent the ends of the straight tubes and the apexes or starts of each bend. Once these points are placed, you can create the parts by connecting them together. In general, it's very easy to use. Terms of left, right, floor, ceiling, front, and back are used for directional control while designing an assembly. Once you have created your assembly, you can take an individual part and bring it over into a single part design interface to find the cut length and bending instructions, including bend locations, rotations, bend angles, and spring angles. In addition to this, we can see how the part will be manufactured in the bender. This feature provides a simulation that shows the part going through the bending process. Now back in assembly, we have the ability to create cutting wrappers or instructions for hole saw notching. To do this, simply select the feature that you want to cut, then select the feature you want to cut it to. Using this information, the software will create a wrapper for that specific cut, as you can see here. It tells you where to line the wrapper up, how far to rotate it, the cut angle, rotation, and cut size. The other designers we have are Template, Custom Part, and Custom 3D Part. In Template, parts can be designed using predefined shapes. There are hundreds of different templates to choose from, so you can look through these options to find one that looks most like the part you want to design. Once a template is chosen, it can be brought into the part design interface. Next, you can select the material and die you want to use. To design the part, we simply enter the dimensions into the fields on the part diagram. Once these values are given, the software will generate the cut length, bend locations, and bend angles required to create this part. The next designer is called Custom Part. In this interface, you select up to 10 bends, then enter the length of each section of tube, the rotation, and a bend angle for each bend. Once the part is complete, the cut length, bend locations, and the bend angles will be generated. Our third interface is called Custom 3D Part. Custom 3D Part works a bit differently. You still select the number of bends the same way, but instead of entering the lengths, rotation, and angles, you create the part features in three-dimensional space using terms of ceiling, floor, back, front, left, and right. While doing this, the software will calculate your bend locations, rotations, and other part design information. Next, we will cover the tube and pipe library. In this library, you create your materials by defining the weight, wall thickness, diameter, and a color. There is also a die library. Within the die library, you define the die itself or select a die from the OEM list. However, we do recommend going through the calibration process. To calibrate a die, you cut a piece of material and measure it, mark it 3 to 4 inches back, line that mark up on your die, and then bend it to 90 degrees. Once that's done, you'll measure both legs and fill in these values. The software can then calculate your calibrated CLR and bend location offset. Bend location offset is the distance from where you line the mark up to where the bend actually starts on the die. 